Welcome back everyone. So these videos are created to help you decide whether you do or do not want to invest in tokens and we are going to be looking at Lily. Now I will looking be looking at it transparently and with facts only so and I will try to make it as short as possible. I am not paid from YouTube or paid from anyone to do anything that I do so do take all the information as you will and it's not financial advice. Now get straight into it I like to make them as short as possible. We have three pay three main founders on their website and Lily. Now on a bit of research there are four principles listed. We have Russ, Brad, Stephen and Josh. Now this wasn't an easy video to make. Here we have a quick little story of Brad and Lily. Hi, my name is Brad Beattie, um, father of Lily and Bay Beattie, um, wonderful little girl. Um, I'm a 12 year employee at UPS, United Parcel And Fast forward a little bit, we do have Lily. Lily, Lily Bell. Yeah. Lily Bell. Now it wasn't an easy video to make, but here we have Josh and Steve. Now they are real people that are, as far as I can tell, and the rest I have not been able to find. So their mission is they want to change the way that health and crypto are used together. And so there are problems and opportunities in healthcare they want to help and help employs the next generation of financial system to make things happen faster from bench to billing and diagnostics to data management now to have health and happiness great have wealth in amongst it isn't that they don't really seem to blend well together now they are going to be listed on Sadomask in approximately two days and 13 hours as far as we can we know they are going to be locked and exclusive to Sadomask at the present time how great that is for the future of Lily. We'll find out as time tells. The tokenomics, you have 10% in, 10% out. Now, on a decentralized, you know, healthcare, I can assume in a, in most of the world isn't cheap as, as it is. It Lily finance, okay, so places in Australia, we don't even play, pay for our health. So you gotta at least look at where they're going to be used mainly in america i'd assume because in australia we don't even pay for our health so the roadmap they have done a few things they've still got a few stages to unlock it is pretty generic but they do have a couple of things they want to make create a stable coin um nft launch and have their own medical system so none of these are brought in hyper fud i'm not part of what's going on right now and i just want to bring you some neutral news and views now the white paper is pretty long we're not going to read it word for word but i do like what they're doing they want to bring a good thing into the crypto world and the healthcare and help people out now how they're going to do it and and what's going to happen in the future remains to be seen but take all the information as you will and have a good day